All right, this is Revelation chapter 20. This is a very, very enigmatic few passages here. And this, in these passages, confuse many. Many, 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 many people are confused here. But for those of you who have followed us sincerely and closely, you're not going to be confused here. You're going to begin to see and understand. And what I have just told you is now going to begin to appear in those minds who were previously foggy. And now the haze is about to lift. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. What are you thinking right now? I wish I knew. I think you know what I'm thinking right now. Let's look at this a little closely. Verse 2. Verse 2 successfully, without a doubt, identifies us as having this serpent the serpent is going to be related to the devil and Satan it says and he laid hold on the dragon now the dragon is about to be called the serpent so the serpent and the dragon are going to be interchangeable that's very important because we're going to make very distinct connections with that this 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 ride my friends is just beginning just beginning and then the next connection we have is the serpent, which is the devil and the Satan. So without a doubt, we have the serpent, which is the representation of all three of these personas within one symbolic identity. And we have it successfully being placed within the criteria of being bound and loosed. What I want you to understand now is simply what the topic of this heading is saying to your eyes. Satan bound in the abyss during the kingdom age. Now that is just two breaths short of telling you what I have been telling you, but from a Mayan perspective. And I know that you absolutely see that. The good news is, friends, I'm not dropping you off right here. The good news is, friends, I've got the answers you seek. I've got the understanding that you're looking for. And it's good news. Everything is going to be all right. And I mean that. And I'm not saying that because I'm the one that's making it all right. I'm saying that because I know the one who's going to make it all right. I'm not he. I'm not he, my friends. But... I'm just trying to do his will the best that I can. Yes, I got some faults, friends. And I'm hoping that I'm giving this to you as well as I think that I'm understanding it. And forgive me if I'm not. But I think right now that you do begin to understand what we're talking about. So let's see here that we have... Now we're at the end of the age. This is Revelation, my friends. We saw the serpent appear in the beginning of Genesis which is the renewal, just like he's supposed to. And then now we see them at the end. They're about to shut them up again, but they're saying they're going to release them after that. We're in that cycle. 